Welcome. This video is going to demonstrate how to do a clean installation of active roles. We're going to cover a clean installation of active Roll 731 service and the web interface. And we're also going to show a basic configuration. So to install active roles, we're going to navigate to the downloaded installation media and we're going to double click active roles.exe. And you can read through the introduction here and then click next, uh, read through and accept the license agreement, click next. And for the purposes of this video demonstration, we're just going to install the administration service, the web interface and the console. And I'm going to install it to the default location here. Click Next. And you can quickly review here all the components to be installed. Click Install. And the installation is complete. And it shows here that it was successful. Perfect. And we'll want to ensure that this option to perform configuration is checked off. So we'll click Finish. So once the installation wizard is complete, the active roles configuration center is going to launch and the first thing we need to configure is the administration service so we'll click configure and in here we can enter the service account credentials click next and here you can select the active roles admins uh, I'm just going to use the default built-in administrators you can configure that in anything that is required in your environment and since this is a new installation, I'm going to select a new Active Roles database. I'm going to enter my SQL Server name here. The name of the database, Active Roles 7.3 is fine. And if you have different credentials for SQL, go ahead and enter them here. Click Next. Uh, it is advisable to store the encryption key back up with a password, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to enter one. Click Next. And here we're ready to configure and you can review here to ensure that everything is set correctly and then if so click configure all right so once that's complete you can see that it was successful and you can view the log for more information and also we have some links here to our video tutorials and communities so we're going to click finish on that and so the second piece for this video demonstration is the web interface so we're going to go ahead and click configure and so i've installed the web interface on the same machine as the service so i'm just going to select the first option here click configure and then it's going to go ahead and create the administration site the help desk site and the self-service site and now it's complete and we're just going to go ahead and click finish now that it's configured we're just going to go ahead and launch the Active Roles 7.3 console. And if you click the top left node, you'll see the summary here for Active Roles. And I do not have a domain added yet, so I'm going to go ahead and add my domain here. And then click Next. And if you have different credentials for the domain access, you can enter them here. Uh, for my demo, I'm just going to use my service account. And click Finish. And that may take a moment to complete. Perfect. Now, this may take a moment to display and it's done so we can go ahead and reconnect once that's done and now we can see the domain added this concludes the video demonstration to learn more about active roles please visit support.oneidentity.com